Hello Donuts, today we will be reacting to the most iconic in between us moments, season two. Oh, yes! And as this video goes on, the more iconic the clips get, I can't wait, I can't wait for it. Are you okay, Will? <laughs> Fine, thanks, we'll be back for you in a minute. I remember you know you started to flare up! <laughs> yup, thanks Lauren, won't be a minute! Is that a fish? Yes Lauren, it's a, it's fuck a fucking fish! Oh. Do you know how much serotonin this moment gives me right now? Have you ever been on a boat with your mates, by the way? Because I feel like it would just go this way. Like, surely it can't end well. Going on a little dinghy boat with your friends? No good comes of that. Sit next to John. I'm not sitting next to John. He's fast, takes up two seats. I've got feelings too, you know. <laughs> Feisty one, you. Have you ever, like... Have, like, have you ever been on, like, a plane or something where, like, the person next to you, like, you know, like, does take up a little bit of your seat as well? It's, like, the worst feeling ever. You know, they can't help it, but you're still, like, I I paid for that whole seat, not 80% of it. You're trying to put, like, you know, the armrest down in your car and you're like, right, well, I guess we're going to know each other a lot better than what we did before we got on the plane. Feisty one, you are. Oh. Why are you talking like that? Oh. It was Yoda. Oh. From Star oh. Wars. No. It's the same impression I was doing on the coach yeah. for about an hour. Yeah, oh, was that what that was? Oh, good. I thought you might, you know, have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that is such El Riz. Like, who's bringing out the Yoda quotes? Oh, at least Mace Windu, right? It knows you're, like, you're, you're diving a bit deeper there into, like, Star Wars lore. Yoda, you basic bitch, Will. Oh, no, don't leave my kite. Oh, no, it's not that. It's just I've got to go see a man about a dog. Then a woman about a pussy. <laughs> I do know that. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Jay's such a. F Jay's actually Jay's my favorite in between us character. Who's yours? Comment. I just feel like he's just got. It's just so unfunny that he's funny. Like the only person that ever laughs at him is Neil. You'll never catch Will or Simon laughing at him. Hi, Carly. Jesus, Hannah, you're gonna have to blur that. But Christ, Simon is packing. Fair, fair, fair play. That is like a, that's like a, a size 9 to 12 sock, that. But he's got a monthly subscription, a magnum. No Durex in this house. Garage? Yes. Come on. <laughs> Me. A garage. Does that seem likely? What's your point, Mackenzie? I wrote to the local paper, sir, to shadow a journalist there. Maybe even write a few pieces myself. Right. <laughs> Will's such a bellend, isn't he? Like, just such a... <laughs> Me. Carriage. <laughs> oh, do I look work in class? Sir? No, no, thank you very much. He used to go to private school though, doesn't he? So I guess that kind of makes a little bit of sense. Have yeah, a look. I get paid extra for this, you know. Okay, it says here that Sutherland is expected at the newspaper. Case closed. Well, then there's clearly been some sort of mix up. I don't mean to be rude, but look at him. <laughs> No offence. None taken. To be fair, this is what I imagine, like, people who work for The Sun look like. You know, the ones that write those articles, like, Mum of Four eats XL Bully right before death. You know, like, the people that write those type of articles, and you're like, why, why are they, why is this news? I feel like they all look like Neil. What did you put down as your first choice, Sutherland? Airplane driver. And that is? <laughs> Someone who drives planes. You mean a pilot? Do I? What was your second choice? Technically... He's correct, right? Like, uh, a pilot is just an airplane driver. Why are we calling them a pilot, right? Why do we call them pilots? All they do is just drive flying cars. Working with cars. Right. Have you ever wanted to work at a newspaper? No, sir. Have you ever read a newspaper? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> to be fair, I've, I don't think I've read a newspaper. I think I've just did a Sudoku in one, like, a couple of times. Have you ever read a newspaper? Whenever you go at, like, you know, the petrol garage and just you fill up your cars, like, most of them just have, like, women on the front, like, like, like half-naked women. That is, like, it's just it trying to attract, like, 60-year-olds, you know, 60-year-old men. I feel like that's their target audience. How mad is that, that on page three there was always like a uh, double spread of a half naked woman that is mental when you think about it just in the newspaper just like oh yeah page three you just get like men staring at it for five minutes like not at the back you know like on the tv guide all the kind of dodgy channels are like nine nine something no not in the newspaper page three okay it does seem there's been some sort of mistake here somewhere well that's okay mistakes happen shall i go to the paper tomorrow <laughs> no <laughs> no you go to the garage it's all booked. Signed. Mr. Gilbert, when you think about it, right, was such a horrendous 
head of six form. This man got off on making these kids suffer. Someone like Will, Will's clearly got a passion for journalism. He could go into that in the future. He's literally stopping him achieving his dreams just because he knows it'll be funny to send him to the garage. And you know what? I kind of rate it. This man give up on his dreams. He's making everyone else give up on theirs. I just wonder what he said to them. I don't think he said anything, Kevin. Oh, come on, we both know Will. He must have said something. <laughs> he had to walk back through the town centre, sopping wet and barely clothed, Mr Gilbert. Huh. I'd hoped you'd take this more seriously. I told you. <laughs> this is after, like, Will gets, like, absolutely mauled by the people at the garage. I told you Mr Gil Gilbert gets off on it. The man is sick. I wrote to the paper especially to get work experience, and instead I'm picking frogs born out of his underpants. Would, would you excuse me? <laughs> just, just for a second. God, I feel like my cheeks are hurting. I feel like I've just laughed through this entire video. This is hilarious. Also, why did he just walk outside? Like, why did he just go? <laughs> like, surely you at least walk down the hall or go for a piss and laugh. This man has just gives zero fucks the entire way through this season. Right, looks like it's time for plan B. Oh, right. Oh There's a God, plan B, is, is there? Oh it's just plan A was so brilliantly devised, I wouldn't have thought we'd need a plan B. What is it, climb over her fence? It's a bit higher, though. Oh, my God, so a bit of context if you haven't seen them between us. I'm pretty sure there was, like, a house party, and, like, they didn't get invited because they're, like, you know, they're seen as the freaks. Or they, because they don't know, I'm a little bit of both, I think. And <laughs> they have to climb over her fence instead of just not going. Like, if you're not invited to a party, you just don't go, right? Like, who goes? No, actually. We're going to climb over a fence. Dear Jay, I've just baked you a finger pie. Why don't you come, spelt C-U-N, and taste it? Oh, mate, that's so horny. Where do you think it's from? Your dad? Yeah, funny. <laughs> Let me look at these. Jay, you massive stud, please, please spaff on my tits from your Valentine's bitch. P.S. And on my face. When you, when you really deep it, like, Jay has, like, uh, severe issues. Like, this man spent a good hour writing all these cards up himself, to himself, putting them in the envelope, licking all the things, and then bringing them into school and being like, yeah, guys, all these people wrote this for me. This man is suffering. He needs therapy. Why don't we at least attempt to have a sophisticated conversation? I know it's a tall order, and I'm not expecting sparkling, but let's give it a go, eh? As if it's my fucking birthday! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Patrice. How much Lego can you stuff up your bum? Oh, for Christ! <laughs> this show was actually legendary. How? Who were the writers of this show? Because it is hilarious. The timing and everything, like the casting was so perfect. They should be so proud. This is unbelievable. Also, genuine question how much Lego can you fit up your bum? Don't worry, I'll, I'll give you another five seconds to think of it. Drop the comment down below. I just want to quickly stop this video to say that 76.6% of you are not subscribed. Oh, it boils my blood. If you would like to help us on the road to 100,000 subscribers and be in the Before 100k club, press subscribe right now. If everyone watching this subscribed, we would literally hit it right now. That's insane. Anyway, let's get back to the in-between us. Do you ever go to London? All the time. I went last weekend. I fucked some girl up there. Did you? Where was that then? It was in the Tower of London. The Tower of London. What did you do after you fucked her? <laughs> Cut her head off? Oh my god, this is just such my humour. I need to rewatch this entire series. Oh my god, it's so funny. Clubbing. Do you want to come? Sounds fun, we'd love to go. Which club are you going to? We're going to one of the big ones. One of the big cool ones right in the middle of London. All right, which one? <laughs> um, the land of the sa Pop world. Pop world, that's it. Yeah, tuck the words up your mouth. We're going to pop world. Sound of... We usually go to the Astoria. And that's exactly where we're going. No trainers. What? No trainers. Can I borrow your shoes? He's a blood job. To be fair, um, there's been so many times, like, I go out a lot of the time, like, on a night out in, like, Air Max, and you know how they have, like, the bubble in? Like, loads of bouncers recently are like, you can't have the bubble in your shoe. Like, why? For what reason? I'm not going to posh clubs. I'm going to, like, qu quite chava clubs. Why can't I have... A bubble in my shoe. Like, is that is that going to offend someone? I don't know what bubbles did to bouncers, but it must have been awful because they all hate them. I'll give you a blowjob. No, God, no, no blowjobs. I just want your shoes. Get to the back of the queue, you four-eyed prick. Sorry, do you mind if I stand on my back to you? I just don't want them to think that you're with me. No, that's fine. 
Oh my god, what an ar- Like, as if you would react like this if someone was throwing stuff at someone that you were, like, going to the club with. What an absolute bastard. I would be like, can you, can you stop throwing stuff, mate? Or at least throw something back. Actually, I'm glad we've got this opportunity to chat, as there's a couple of things I want Shut to- Shut up. Sure. <laughs> the headmaster, in his infinite wisdom, has decided it would be a good idea for the sixth formers to participate in the Duke of Edinburgh award scheme. So I'd like you to coordinate it. Me? Really? Oh my god, I don't the know. Duke of Edinburgh. Did, did any of you do, like, uh, Duke of Edinburgh Mayor's Award? I remember, I, uh, like, I think you had to do Mayor's Award first. I turned up at the Mayor's Award meeting with, like, me mates, and I, like, listened to, like, what they were saying, and I was just like, I can't be arsed for this. So I just nicked the biscuits and then left. I tell you what, it's a good job that I landed in YouTube, because if I wasn't, I would be... I don't know where I would be right now. A representative for the entire year? Yes. I am honoured, sir. Thanks very much. Why me? You're a virgin, aren't you, Mackenzie? <laughs> Sorry? A virgin. You haven't had full sexual intercourse. Um, no, I haven't. <laughs> well, there's your answer. Now get out. Maybe we should arrange a weekly meeting just to check on my progress. You can if you like, but I won't be there. <laughs> or maybe I could compose a regular memo with how it's all going. <laughs> OK. Why don't you drop <laughs> me in my pigeonhole? Great. Where's that then, sir? Any bin. Any rubbish bin you see in or indeed out of the school. <laughs> Oh my god, Mr. Gilbert is so iconic. Like, when you watch this as a kid, you were like, oh my god, he's the worst teacher ever. But, like, watching it back, like, now you're like, oh, this guy's just clearly just so sick of these kids, and he's sick of his own life, and he's just taking it out, and he doesn't care who he hurts. You spunked your pants in the common room during the day when there were people around? Yes. And then your pubes fell out? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I think this is way out of my league. You are banned from going inside. <laughs> Why? Wait. What happened there again? I can't remember that. This man got like acid... acid sperm? What is happening? You do something like steal my mum's knickers to sniff and then wank with. With? <laughs> yes, with. And then you'll take great pleasure in telling me how you wrapped my mother's knickers round your cock and used the friction generated whilst thinking about her tits to make you cum. Hello, Will. Oh. <laughs> Why, why also, why does Will, like, like dress like a, like a 70s poet? Do you know what I mean? Like, Will seems like he's got very molecular thoughts right now, when in reality he's just talking about spunk. You go to an old people's home and wank off. Oh my god, that haircut is awful. I know I want to talk. I've kind of got a little bit of assignment going on now. I know... I... Fuck. I know I want to talk, but look at that. I, w I would have to ask for so much money in the contract to have my hair like this constantly. It looks like, I don't know, like like a like a castle. What what does that even look like? I don't even know what he's going for. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Sometimes I even slip a finger up my ass while I'm doing it. <laughs> don't we all? No, I'm, I'm joking. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, what are you, this is so bad. Why is this man masturbating in an old people's home? Oh, snapshot eye, where are you? Oh my god, this, what are you doing? Oh. Hello? Who's that? Oh, god. Oh. <laughs> this is so, this is so ridiculous. Oh my god, imagine just being that horny that he resorts to this. Like, this is the only thing that gets you off, or, or wherever you are, you just need to do it, but an old people's home, just wait until you get home, man. I thought it was empty. Your mum's settling in okay, I think. Oh, this is Jay. He's helping out as part of the Duke of Edinburgh scheme. Ah, nice. Thanks for looking after mum. How's your revision going? Yeah, not bad. Pretty good. Got an excellent... <sighs> Come on, surely, surely that's, that's awful. Ah, oh, do you feel sick? I feel a little bit sick. Schedule sorted, colour coded, and balancing my time well. Got some drinks here to help, proplast, that sort of thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> and nothing's fucking going in. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, look at this. I must have read about the accountability of legislatures <laughs> to citizens 50 times, and I still don't know what it means. Why do I feel like this is kids now doing GCSEs, but it's now prime bottles? Just loads of prime energy. <laughs> oh, there, there's someone in, like, BTEC Sport just really revising for his exams, just, just high on prime. If anyone knows how I can get a large pack of Prime, I need it. I need to surprise it for my little brother for Christmas. That would be so wholesome. He would love me. Mackenzie, sir, I need to go to the toilet. Again? Yes. Well, you can't. Sorry? It could be the fourth time in an hour. You'll have to wait. I'm pretty sure you can't do that, sir. If I have reason to believe you're cheating, I can. And I do. 
So I have. Now get on with your paper. Oh my god, this takes me back to GCSEs. I had like so many stomach issues in school. Like when I used to do exams, like my stomach used to make such loud noise that I used to have so much anxiety thinking people could hear. Maybe if they could, I don't know. But you know how the exam room so silent? That threw me off my all my exams because I my stomach was making so much noise. It was like it had a beats pill in it. Phil? <laughs> Phil? <laughs> Oh no. Oh, the sound. Phil. Oh, the sound effect. Jesus. Was the royalty free sound effect needed? See, this season two is disgusting. I thought it was a fart, sir. I thought it was safe. I just don't think it's right we see each other anymore. I think you're a bit too sensitive for me. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. I promise you. But you are for me. And uh, you're a bit needy, and it scared me because I'm not ready for that kind of thing. Just. You know, tell me what you want me to be and I'll be exactly that. I'll be exactly that, just... Yeah, Jay's like the definition of, like, um... He's one of those lads that, like, in front of his mate, he's like, you know, a proper laddie. A proper, like, one of the boys. And then when he's with his lass, he's like, I love you, baby. Baba. Ah, uh, Aren't we just the cutest thing? In front of the lads! Ugh. I hate women! I hate them all! Where's your bit, then? I thought you'd be out here up to your nuts and guts! No, I had to, uh... I had to give her the boot. Did you? I thought you were really into her. Nah. She was like, like frigid. Frigid. <laughs> she wouldn't have this threesome, even though I organised it with a top leather model. <laughs> she is like so insecure. Like this man, like this man, like needs therapy. It's so so obvious. This man's just so insecure. Like his lies are just out of hand. Like he lies about things he doesn't need to lie about. Why doesn't he just be honest right now? Will would be there for him, but he can't be seen as weak. Bless him. Anyway, if you would like me to keep this series going of reacting to in between us clips, uh, 1,500 likes on this video. And if you want to watch me react to season one, click here or watch me react to another British TV show right here.